So today I'm going to be reading Pete the Cat, A Pet for Pete. And I'm going to show you how I use my reading voice and then my thinking voice. So I already am using my thinking voice after I read the words, a pet for Pete. That means that probably Pete is going to get a pet. Pete is going to the pet store. He is going to get a pet. Pete wants a bird, a hamster, or a lizard. So already I'm picturing in my mind what a pet store might look like. Maybe it has, of course, lots of different pets. Maybe it has pet food. Maybe it has um, leashes or different types of toys that a pet might play with. So I'm gonna keep reading. I'm gonna use my reading voice now. But, when, but then Pete sees a goldfish. That's what I want, he tells his mom. So Pete said he wanted a goldfish. So I'm, now I'm going to use my thinking voice of maybe some things that he might need to have a goldfish in his home. I'm, I'm thinking, of course, he's going to need um, an aquarium and water and maybe fish food. Pete's mom gets fish food. I'm going to call you Goldie, Pete says to his new pet. You are my first pet, Pete tells Goldie on the way home. So I used my reading voice and now I'm going to use my thinking voice. I wonder if he named Goldie Goldie because um, she's a gold fish. Pete takes Goldie to his room. He feeds her fish food. Now what, asks Pete. He can't play with Goldie. He can't swim with her. Pete knows what he can do. Hmm, I'm kind of wondering what types of activities that you could do with a fish. Maybe Pete wants to read to her. I don't know. I'm gonna find out though by using my reading voice and my thinking voice on the next pages. Pete paints a picture of Goldie. He paints four fins and an orange tail. What a pretty painting, says Pete's mom. You can keep it, says Pete. Oh, so now I know that he was painting a picture of his fish. Cool painting, says Bob. Can you make one for me? Sure, says Pete. Pete paints a picture for Bob. Wow, says Bob. It looks just like Goldie. Bob shows Pete's painting to his friend Tom. Now Tom wants a painting too. Pete paints another picture of Goldie to take to school for show and tell. So now he's got a couple of friends that want a picture of Goldie. Hmm, I'm using my thinking voice to try to predict what might happen. This is Goldie, my pet fish, Pete tells his class. Cute fish, cool colors, nice work. I wish I had a picture of Goldie, says Benny. I'll make you one, says Pete. Everyone in Pete's class wants a painting of Goldie. Wow, now I'm using my thinking voice to think about how many paintings that would be. I know in our class we have 24 kids. That would be a lot to paint for. Pete's grandma wants a painting too. Pete has a lot to do. He has to feed Goldie. He has to do homework. Pete paints and paints. He makes paintings for everyone on his list. At last, Pete is done. He worked hard. There is no paint left. So I'm kind of looking at the pictures too as I'm using my thinking voice and I'm thinking, Pete looks kind of tired. And now he's all out of paint. So I wonder if paint, Pete will have to get more paint. Pete's paintings are a big hit. Pete is happy to be done, but Pete is not done. 
Now everyone in town wants a painting of Goldie. Oh my gosh, I wonder what Pete is going to do. I wonder how many people are in the town of Kent. What if everybody in Kent wanted a picture of your pet? Pete gets more paint. I don't know what to do, he says to his mom. I wish I could paint pictures for everyone. I just don't have time. Hmm. I wonder if Pete's going to come up with a solution to his problem. Pete's mom has an idea. She tells it to Pete. Great idea, says Pete. Pete gets right to it. This time he works outside and makes a huge painting. Oh, so now I see he's making a huge painting. I wonder if that's so a lot of different people can see his painting. What do you think? Honk, honk, beep, beep. Here comes Pete. He has made one painting of Goldie for everyone in town to enjoy. Oh, so he ended up putting it on top of his car. What a great day. When Pete gets home, he tells the real Goldie all about it. So boys and girls, I used my reading voice and I used my thinking voice while sharing this read aloud today. I want you to practice using your reading voice and your thinking voice.